Nothing is so terrible as a pretentious movie. I mean, a movie that aspires for something really terrific and doesn't pull it off is shit, it's scum. And everyone will walk on it as such. And that's why poor filmmakers, in a way, that's their greatest horror, is to be pretentious. So here you are, on one hand, trying to aspire to really do something. On the other hand, you're not allowed to be pretentious. And finally you say, fuck it. I don't care if I'm pretentious or not pretentious, or if I've done it or I haven't done it. All I know is that I am going to see this movie. And that for me, it has to have some answers. And by answers, I don't mean just a punchline. Answers on about 47 different levels. And uh, it's very hard to talk about these things without being very corny. You use a word like self-purgation or epiphany, they think you're either a, you know, a religious weirdo or a, you know, an asshole college professor. But those are the words for the process, this transmutation, this renaissance, this rebirth, which is the basis of all life. The one rule that all men, from the time they first were walking around looking up at the sun scratching around for food and an animal to kill, the first concept that I feel got into their head was the idea of life and death. That the sun went down and the sun went up. That the animal, the crop, when they learned how to make a crop, it died. In the winter, everything died. And he, to the first man, he must have thought, oh my God, it's the end of the world. And then all of a sudden, there was spring and everything came alive and it was better. I mean, after all, I mean, look at Vietnam. Look at my movie. You'll see what I'm talking. Come on, baby, take a chance with us. Come on, baby, take a chance with us. Come on, baby, take a chance.